Lars, it's been a couple of years since you have won a competition, and a couple of weeks ago you were on the IBU Cup. What was it like to cross the finish line and see your name at the top of the board today? Uh, that was cool, uh, but uh, I know that I had the bib number seven, and I do have to wait a long time. And uh, it uh, it came out quite surrealistic that I won today, but I can I can just only say that I love. Uh, Snowfieldson, if you could call it this place. <laughs> and uh, I had uh, really luck with my bib today, I think. And uh, But I, I did a good job, and and I'm happy to win. I'm really happy. Were you a little nervous uh, when Martin was on the last loop? I heard he was uh, really uh, really strong and really close, So, but uh, I knew I had uh, really nice conditions on my last loop with uh, some parts icy, and uh, he had a little bit snow more, so... I know I knew I had a chance, so I'm really happy that I won today. It's it's a long time ago since last time, and my third one here in Hockfilsen, so uh, I like it here. Is it a lot of fun to beat those young guys like Tarje and Emil on a day like this? Yeah, I'm, I'm closing into 35 years old now, and Olainer is soon 40, and Suman also. And <laughs> I think the average age today was quite high. So maybe this is like the old timers competition? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> old boys <laughs> football. <laughs> so what does this do for your Olympic chances? Does this mean that there's a chance you can make it now? Of course, but uh, I need some good results also for January, especially, and then uh, then I can really aim in for the Olympics. So can you con can you continue in biathlon for ever? Sadly not. I'm uh, having a Injury in my knee, so I think this is, as uh, you said to Olaina, this is maybe my last time here in Hockfilsen. Congratulations. Thanks.